In this video, I am solving these two numericals. One is on reciprocity theorem and another one is on Milman's theorem. Consider a numerical on reciprocity theorem. State reciprocity theorem. Find Vx and verify reciprocity theorem for given circuit. In one of my video, already I have explained the statement of reciprocity theorem. Please go through this video. This is the given circuit. Let me consider this as terminal A and this as terminal B. This as terminal C and this as terminal D. So first we will try to find voltage Vx which is nothing but voltage across 6 ohm resistor. As here current I is flowing at this node the current will divide. Part of the current will flow through this I will call it as I1 and part of the current will flow through this and I will call it as I2. So here now I1 is the current which flows through 4 ohm resistor as well 2 ohm resistor. Here 4 and 2 are in series. The equivalent resistance is 6 ohm. Similarly, here current I2 flows through 3 ohm resistor as well as 6 ohm resistor. But Vx is taking the voltage across only 6 ohm resistor. So to find voltage across 6 ohm resistor, first we need the current through 6 ohm resistor. Let us find current I2. Calculating current I2 using current division rule. That is I can write I2 is equal to the current division rule says that total current that is I can write the formula total current into opposite resistor divided by sum of register that is I can write I2 is equal to here total current is 10 10 amp into opposite resistor so opposite resistor the meaning is here current I2 is flowing through 3 ohm register and 6 ohm register opposite to this register is 4 ohm register and 2 ohm register that is in which the another current is flowing that is I1. So here opposite resistor is 4 and 2 that is both are in series. So I can take it as 6 ohm divided by sum of registers that is sum of these all registers that is 4 plus 2 plus 6 plus 3 that is will get 15. So simplifying this I can write 60 by 15 which is equal to 4 amp. So therefore now I can write Vx is equal to 6 into I2 therefore Vx is equal to 6 into 4 which is equal to 24 volts. So thus we found the value of Vx which is 24 volt. So now according to the reciprocity theorem let's interchange current source and voltage source. So now I will connect a current source at terminal C and D and I will find voltage Vx across A and P. Let me draw the equivalent circuit. So this is the equivalent circuit here between terminal C and D I have connected 10 amp current source and between A and B let me find voltage Vx. I suppose to get Vx same as the previous value. Uh, we can see that the current 10 amp is connected to this node. At this node the current will divide. Part of the current will flow through this. I will call it as I1 and part of the current will flow through this. I will call it as I2. So here current I1 flows through 6 ohm register and current I2 flows in 3 ohm register and it will flow like this and here as terminal A and B is open, no current flows here. The entire current will flow through 4 ohm register and 2 ohm register. So let me find I2 again applying current division rule. That is finding current I2 
using current division rule that is here i can say i2 is equal to total current is 10 into opposite resistor opposite resistor means in which opposite another current is flowing so i1 is flowing in 6 ohm resistor so 6 ohm resistor is opposite resistor 6 divided by sum of all these register that is 15 so here we'll get 60 by 15 that is 4 amp so therefore now here we can see that vx is the voltage across 4 ohm and 2 ohm here 4 ohm and 2 ohm are in series so equivalent value is 6 ohm so vx is voltage across 6 ohm register therefore vx is equal to 4 plus 2 i2 therefore vx is equal to 6 into 4 amp therefore vx is equal to 24 volts so therefore i can say here we'll call it as equation 1 this has equation 2 therefore equation 1 is equal to equation 2 therefore reciprocity theorem is verified now consider the second example state milman's theorem using milman's theorem find il for the statement of milman's theorem please do watch my another video this one there i have explained milman's theorem statement so this is the given circuit here current il is flowing through 9.4 ohm register we supposed to find the current il which is flowing through 9 point. in milman's theorem the branch in which the current is flowing we supposed to remove that branch from the circuit that is let me consider this as a b terminal so the first step is we supposed to remove this 9.4 ohm register which is connected at terminal a and b after removing this register these two terminals will become open we supposed to find the voltage between those two terminals that register that voltage is known as milman's voltage let me redraw the circuit by removing 9.4 ohm register so this is the circuit by removing 9.4 ohm register let me write this is a terminal and this is b terminal now the voltage between these two terminal is nothing but milman's voltage i can call it as vm so here i can assume v1 is equal to 20 volt and let r1 is equal to 2 ohm if i take the reciprocal of r1 it will become conductance that is i will call it as g1 which is equal to 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 mo similarly with respect to this branch i have v2 is equal to 40 volt and r2 is 4 ohm if i find the g2 that is reciprocal of resistance it will be 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25 mo Similarly, for third branch, we have V3 is equal to 50 volt. Corresponding resistance R3 is 5 ohm. Therefore, G3 is 1 over 5, that is 0 0.2 ohm. So, Milman's voltage is given by the formula Vm is equal to V1 G1 plus V2 G2 plus V3 G3 whole divided by G1 plus G2 plus G3. So now let me substitute the values that is Vm is equal to V1 value is 20 volt into G1 value is 0 0.5 plus V2 value is 40 volt into G2 value is 0 0.25 plus V3 is 50 and G3 is 0 0.2 whole divided by we have G1 plus G2 plus G3 that is 0 0.5 plus 
प्लस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव प्लस जीरो पॉइंट टू नाउ लेट मी सॉल्व दिस आई कैन राइट वी एम इज इक्वल टू सो विच इज नथिंग बट थर्टी डिवाइडेड बाई जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू थर्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव एट सो देर फोर वी एम इज इक्वल टू थर्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव एट नाउ लेट मी फाइंड मिलमोन्स रेजिस्टेंस दैट इज आर एम सो आर एम इज गिवन बाय द फॉर्मूला आर एम इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर जी वन प्लस जी टू प्लस जी थ्री देर फोर आर एम इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन जी वन इज जीरो पॉइंट वी हैव फाइव प्लस जी टू इज जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव प्लस जी थ्री इज जीरो पॉइंट टू सो सॉल्विंग दिस आई गेट वन अपॉन जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फाइव देर फोर आर एम इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव टू ओम Now let me draw the Milman's equivalent circuit. It consists of RM. Its value is one point zero five two in series with VM, and its value is already we have calculated that is thirty one point five eight. Thirty one point five eight. Now we'll assume that this is terminal A and this is terminal b as we have removed the resistor from this branch we supposed to connect this resistor over terminal a and b that is 9.4 now assume that current i is flowing in this branch so therefore now i can say by applying kvl i can write i is equal to v by r that is i is equal to v is 31.58 divided by r That is one point zero five two plus nine point four. Therefore, I is equal to thirty one point five eight divided by ten point four five two. Therefore, I is equal to three point zero two amps. Thank you for watching these two problems.